Hi everybody, it's John D. from John D. TV. We're back out here at Fairview Square Townhomes. Um, again, we're doing a rough mechanicals video and we're going to review the HVAC or the heating, ventilating, and air conditioning system that's in place. So right here, this unit behind me, you can see we have roughed in. This is the furnace. So um, while it is the furnace and it'll heat the air, it'll actually cool the air as well. So you can see this line set here that brings the cooling fluids from the condensing unit outside. You can see they go around and they go outside to our exterior unit. Our exterior units are always mounted on a bracket. We don't just sit it on the ground. Years past, people would sit them right on the ground, but that's actually in the overdig area of the home. And of course, that freshly excavated earth can eventually settle and their condensing units could possibly tip over. So now we actually mount them on a bracket that's fastened to the foundation and it helps keep them stable and out of the dirt. So this unit here, you can see we have a supply and we have a return. So the supply, all the air that comes out of the unit goes up like this. So this is where the air is blowing out. So it's either heated air or cooled air, or you just may have air circulating. It comes down, this is the return bay. So when the air is blowing in, we'll show you the returns upstairs where it pulls the air back in to be conditioned. It would come down through this ductwork here. And right inside here is where the filter would be located that filters the air out. It blows through that air filter and that filter would take out any dust and contaminants back into the machine and then back up through the house. So we'll go upstairs, we'll take a look at what the return grill areas look like um, and what some of those supplies look like. Let's take a look. Here we are in the kitchen area on the first level of living space and I just wanted to show you a set of supply lines that are running from the basement out of that main trunk that I showed you along the ceiling. And these are coming up and running up to the second floor. Okay, so they'll supply all the air conditioning and or heat to the second floor. Um, a little area of interest I wanna show you, you can see it's kind of black behind here. This is a special insulation board that they have to put whenever they have these supply lines on an exterior wall in order to prevent any heat and or, you know, like a cold transfer from getting into your air that you're adjusting the temperature of. So we have to put that in ahead of time, even before insulation, so that they can place these supplies here. So, of course, the machine is sending the air up through the building. Over here, back in the day, often you would find that we had little returns in each room, and they found that the more returns you have, the more wall cavities that you could possibly, like those lines I just showed you, not be able to fulfill the insulation factor in there, and we have so much duct work going up and down. So now we do kind of a central return per level. So in this area, you can see this frame here, that's where your grate would be, and the air will suck into the return duct, down into the machine, it'll get cleaned in that filter, and then blow back up through the supply, whether it goes across a grid for heating, or it goes across the air conditioning coils. Right now, they don't have it cut out. They'll actually cut this foam board out, but they're leaving it sealed up to prevent dust and dirt during construction from getting in there. So once that's open, when you're in air conditioning mode, you'll be running your air, it'll be cooling the room off, and it'll take that air, pull it into the return, go back down through the machine, again through that filter, um, and then back up and get cooled off. Over here, I just wanted to show you what a supply looks like in the floor. And here it is. This is obviously the roughed in stage. Okay, so once you get your carpeting or vinyl plank flooring, whatever flooring covering you may have, in this space here, we would put a grate. Okay, so your foot doesn't go down into the hole. But that's basically what the rough in system of the whole unit looks like. Um, we're going to go back down. I just want to show you that condensation line and what to do to maintain that condensation line throughout the summer. Let's go take a look. So here's our last bit I wanted to talk to you about. I talked about the condensation that results as um, cold air moves uh, through your system and mixes with warm air and comes back down in. Obviously, there's a lot of humidity in the summertime. So when that hot air comes back through and meets the cooling fans, I'm sorry. When that hot air comes through and meets the cooling grid 
in your system here, condensation can form and drip out. That's completely normal. And that's why we have this little drain here. You see this white pipe? This pipe goes down. And in this home, it goes out through the wall and drips outside. Again, because we're on top of slat and we're not below grade, we don't have a sump crock or anything like that to discharge the water into. So we actually just discharge it out onto the ground. One key point to keep in mind though, is you can see this little part sticking up here. You can actually pull this out in order to clean this line out. The best way to do it is to put a little white vinegar in there to kind of um, descale it, that kind of thing. And that way it's a natural product. You're not putting chemicals outside and then just pour some hot water down through there. Because again, condensation, if it's constantly in here and wet when it mixes with the air and, and literally just, you know, things that are in the air like mold and bacteria that naturally occur because it's in this sealed pipe with moisture, it can grow in there and kind of get slimy. So that white vinegar will help clean it out and prevent it from getting clogged. And then when you're done, you just push this pipe back in there. You always want to keep that in there. So I hope that today it was helpful. It's not very exciting, but you can kind of see how the system works. Obviously, as we go further into the build, we'll be able to show you when the thermostat's installed and show you the insulation of those return air grills. So we'll get kind of the second stage of this. Um, I appreciate you joining us on this journey, and I hope you have a great day.